Hey, all right, y'all have to forgive me if my feed cuts off, if my live stream stops. I am at work and I should be working, but I ain't got no, I don't have no work today. So anyway, um, y'all please stop trying to avoid your process. I know that that's extremely hard because the process is very painful. <laughs> I'm not going to lie and say that your process of um, getting to God's intended purpose for you is easy. It's never easy. But stop trying to avoid the process because everything that you need is in the process. All of the things that you need to develop and grow are in the process. And the process is painful and the process takes work and it takes a lot of sacrifice and you're going to have to do a lot of things that you don't want to do and go through a lot of things you don't want to go through. But at the end of the day, your process is your preparation. And we spend so much time avoiding the process, trying to go around it, but, but you're going to have to get through it where you're supposed to be anyway you still end up where God wants you to end up the question is is do you want more pain than necessary I know that in this stage of my life I've always been somebody who was smart it didn't take very much for me to get what I wanted but then when God took everything from me and I do mean everything from me and said you gonna have to work hard to get it back I was like because I wasn't accustomed to embracing my process. I was accustomed to running from my process. Anything hard, anything uncomfortable, anything that was going to make me have to do more than what I wanted to do, I was accustomed to avoiding that. But your walk with God, it's not about avoidance. It's about embracing your process. And in this stage of my life, God is like, how badly do you want what I have for you? I have so much for you. And I'm ready to give it all to you, but you're not ready to receive it. So I need you to show me. How much are you willing to do? How hard are you willing to fight? How much are you willing to embrace your process in order for me to get you prepped for what I have for you? And half the time, if we would stop running from the things that are hard or difficult, you'll see once you get into it that it's not as bad as you thought it was going to be. But the question is, is how bad do you want to get unstuck? You've been standing in the same place for five, six, seven years wondering why you can't get further than where you are, wondering why you're not seeing success, wondering why you can't seem to go further, wondering why you should be further. Perhaps you've been running from your process. Your process is the thing that's going to build your character. It's going to teach you how to endure. It's going to teach you how to work hard. It's going to teach you how to trust God and how to praise your way through it. I've been through some things that broke me down so bad that I had no choice but to sit in my bed at 2 o'clock in the morning and cry and sing and praise my way out of it. Why? Because <clears throat> my process taught me how to pray. The things I didn't want to go through taught me how to go through. The things that I did not want to deal with taught me how to endure and how to deal. The things that I did not want to have to do that were out of my comfort zone taught me how to get ready and how to how to do more. God said that he came to give us an abundant life. He didn't come for us to exist. For us to just day in and day out, work the same boring job, have all these dreams and ambitions and never see them come to life. That's not why Jesus died for you. Jesus died for you and he told you, you were going to have some hard times in this world. But stand up, dust yourself off, take heart because I'm, I've overcome it. You're stronger than you think. And so in this season, God told me, hey, you see what I got for you. I've shown you, I've got this ministry for you, all your dreams, all your hopes, everything that I've told you that you can have, you can have it. But first, you got to get through this process. And I spent years trying to go around it, trying to look over it, process, play it. Is that you coming across the Himalaya? Do I really have to deal with you or can I go around you? God said, nope. The only way that you're going to get to your purpose and where I have for you is if you're willing to go through the process. If you're willing to work the two jobs that you don't want to work, because here I am, <laughs> 26 years old, y'all, and I'm back working two jobs. Why? Because I wanted to avoid doing more than what I had to. But God said, no, I need you to do more than what you're comfortable doing, because I need you to show me that when I give you what I have for you, you're going to be able to work hard and maintain it. Don't let me waste my blessing on you and you don't do what it takes to maintain it and you don't make me proud. Don't let me take you where you're going and then you fall and crumble because you don't know how to undo endure when times get hard. So guess what? God has me in hard times. Do I like it? No. Am I struggling? Yes. Am I working two jobs? 
busting my tail, sacrificing people, social life, sacrificing everything else? Yes. Am I single? Yes. Do I want a husband? Yes. Am I ready? No. And when I said, God, you know what? I'm going to stand still right here in this season and I'm going to embrace the process. I'm going to work these two jobs and I'm not going to quit and I'm not going to complain about it. But finally, God, make me who you always had me to be. I want to be who you want me to be, and I want to go where you want me to go, God. So here in this season, I will not move. I will not run. I will stand still in the fire until you bring me out, cooked, well done on the other side, ready and prepared for what it is that you have me to do. If that means I got to work hard, I got to work hard. Y'all, I work from 8 in the morning to 11 o'clock at night, Monday through Friday. It is not easy, but I do it because I know God has something for me, and he's told me that I'm strong enough to do it. So when I'm at my second job, and I'm sleepy, and I'm tired, and I'm like, God, I don't want to do this. I just want to quit. I just want to be at home in my bed like everybody else. It's Friday night, and I'm still at work. I just want to go out like everybody else. Lord, it's a Saturday night, and I'm single, and I just want to be booed up like everybody else, but I trust you. And what you have for me is so much greater than where I'm at right now. So I'm going to walk through this process with you. I don't care how long it takes. I don't care what I have to lose. I don't care what I have to change. I don't care what I have to go through. Because where you're going is greater than where you are. You got your eyes so fixed on where you are and how much you don't like it. That you don't realize that where you're going is your goal. So the Bible tells us that we run our race with endurance, striving to reach the goal at the end because we know that it's worth it. If you sit where you are and you think about everything you have to give up right now, you'll never get where you're going. You need to fix your eyes, not on your past, not on your present. Keep your eyes fixed on the prize ahead of you because if you want to see yourself succeed and you want to get to where God, and I promise you, where God has for you is so much greater than anywhere you could get by yourself. If you want to get there, though, you've got to go through it. I know you don't want to get through this breakup because I know it hurts. And you're wondering, well, how am I going to survive because we, we was living together and we was sharing bills. Baby, go get you a second job and let that no good man or woman go. You're going to be all right. You trust God to take care of you. I know you don't want to work for two jobs. Well, God, I should have one good job. How can God trust you with one good job making more money when you don't even want to work hard with where you at? No, ma'am. No ham, no turkey, and no spam. You got to put in the work to get to that miracle. God has a part to play, and so do you. It is not all on God. Sometimes we think that we're waiting on God. No, baby, God is waiting on you. When will you make the decision? When will you say, you know what, God, I don't even feel strong enough to do this, but you tell me that your grace is sufficient, and greater is he who is in me than he who is in the world, and I can do all things through Christ that strengthen me. So I don't feel like I can make it through this last shift today. I don't feel like it, but God, you told me I can. And I know that I'm running. I know that I'm not standing still right here. I know this is not where I'm stopping. This is not my stopping point. So if I got to go to work every night and then go cry it out on my break because I don't want to work a second job, God, I'll do it for you. If I got to get up an hour early every morning just to drive to where I'm going, God, I don't want to do it, but I'll do it for you. God, if I got to let go of that person that wasn't no good for me to get the husband that you have for me, God, I'm going to do it. And I'm going to lay in my bed at night and cry and know that you are there, that you have something better for me. God, if I want that degree, I'm going to go through the school. I don't want to do it, but I'm going to do it because I'm not stopping here. This is not the end. I'm moving forward. So y'all, please, please, I'm begging you, stop trying to avoid your process. My life didn't change until I decided I was going to stop running from my process. So stop running from your process. Your process is your preparation. 